Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this morning. It is an honor to, be, uh, to have been asked to host an event such as this, the Tartu event for Bridging Borders. I hope that we all learn a lot of information today about uh, how to make our community stronger, the, the world as well, uh, especially just Tartu. I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here for Tartu. Uh, is, there, is everybody here from Tartu? Raise your hand if you are not from Tartu. Let's start like that. Okay, where, where are you people from who are not from Tartu? Narva. Narva, okay. Other people? not from Vuru. Ah, very good. Viliandi. Okay, other people? Pernanu? You're American, of course. We will introduce you in just a moment. Uh, it's, it's good to have like, all these people from different places in the country, and especially the world, you know, come together. It's, it's very important. I would like to uh, extend a thank you of uh, words of gratitude to the American Embassy for having funded this event today. Uh, if we could have some applause for the country of America. And let's be honest, it's not that often that America receives applause today. <laughs> My name is Stuart Johnson. I will be hosting the event today. I myself am American, so I am allowed to make these American jokes. I will be doing some stand-up comedy after the break. Around 12 o'clock today, I will try not to be funny until then. Not that I am naturally funny or anything like that, but... Uh, are there any questions before we begin today? Nothing. Okay. Well, let me uh, not delay any more. I would like to welcome our first guest who will do the, introducing, uh, the introductory comments today. Uh, please welcome Allison Davis from the American Embassy. Um, hello, good morning. Um, my name is Allison Davis, and uh, as Stuart was saying, I'm with the American Embassy in Tallinn. Um, and we're really happy to be here today taking part in this seminar. Um, we did provide support for it, but this seminar wouldn't be taking place uh, if it wasn't for the contributions of the University of Tartu, um, the Tartu Center for Creative Industries, and uh, the Estonian U.S. Programs Alumni Association here. Um, so the, the Alumni Association was really the driving force uh, behind this event coming together. Um, and it was their idea and, and their hard work that made it happen. Um, so just a little bit about that association. Uh, the Alumni Association brings together uh, Estonian citizens who have gone to the U.S. on exchange programs. Uh, so uh, some of the most popular ones you might have heard of are Fulbright, Fulbright Student and Fulbright Scholar, but there are a ton of different other programs that we run, uh, like the Munsky program, the Humphreys program, uh, the, Ful or the uh, Franklin Fellowships for high school students, and all of these target people at different parts in their life when they're students, when they're um, professors, when they're mid-level professionals, um, even when they're high school students. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those programs, interested in an opportunity to study or work or train in the United States, uh, you can check out information about them on our website or on our Facebook page. If you just go into Facebook, it's US Embassy Talent and you'll find it right away. Um, so. I was talking with um, uh, one of my colleagues yesterday about the topic of this conference, Bridging Borders, and uh, we started to talk about how uh, exchange programs are themselves a way that we often uh, bridge borders between people and between countries. Um, when you do an exchange program, you have to physically get up, leave your country, and go to a new country. You leave behind pretty much a lot of what you know in the world, your regular contacts, your friends, your family, uh, your, your, your regular language, and you're put into a new context, a new language, new people, new opportunities, new ways of looking at the world, um, new ideas, new concepts. Uh, it's all there. Um, and when you go through a process like this, uh, I find, in my experience, you learn a lot more from each other. Um, you also understand each other a little bit better. And the unknown becomes more known to you. So these experiences can be very, very thrilling in the moment. But then, after you come back to your home country, after you've returned to Estonia from wherever you've been, you have a network of connections that attach you to that 
uh, country that you just spent time in. And we can look at that network of connections, um, which spans oceans, spans borders, um, spans the globe as a bridge, a bridge between your country and another country, between you and other people. Um, so that's just one way of looking at this concept of bridging borders. Um, and for me, it's been especially true. When I was in college, I did a semester of study in Australia. I then graduated from university and did um, a Peace Corps volunteer uh, two-year position in Poland. And then following that, I eventually joined the Diplomatic Corps and I've lived in Guatemala and in Estonia. Uh, just last week, I was at the Matsalu Film Festival in Lihula, Lanama, and I met two uh, Polish environmentalists there. Um, and it's been about 13 years since I spoke Polish regularly, but within a couple minutes, we were able to speak a little bit of Polish again, and I had that instant connection there again. I would have never had that if I hadn't gotten out of my comfort zone, got up and left my country to learn something else about someone else, about another country, about another people, another language. So um, exchanges are a great way to bridge these borders um, and a great way to view this metaphor. But there are so many other ways and today we're going to hear some great examples um, from uh, academics, scholars, practitioners, professionals about how they view this metaphor. Um, and I'm really excited uh, to hear uh, what they have to say. Um, and again, the embassy is so happy to take part in this. 99.9% um, uh, .9 of the credit goes to the organizers and all the hard work they put into putting this together. Uh, it's our privilege to be working with them and it's our privilege to be here in Tartu today with you all. So thanks very much. Thank you very much, Ali. Uh, I, I always think it's kind of funny how uh, people refer to being in Estonia as being out of their comfort zone. <laughs> but uh, thank you for your kind words. 